So how do we change this? How do we have some principles of sound design for products? Um, we could use better hardware. Uh, instead of just the cheap square wave that we've used in alarm clocks, we could use something slightly more interesting, like a sawtooth wave. We could use a higher, uh, higher bandwidth speaker so that we can actually make a soundscape in a hospital. Having more frequencies available in speakers is like having 26 letters in an alphabet instead of two letters, like we have right now with all of our cheap devices. So we can start to open that up and start to embed information with a composer into these spaces so we can be attuned to more information. Um, embedding more information into sounds is used in particle physics. You don't want to look at all of this data all the time. There's so much information. How do you compress it into a different sense so that you can do something else and then hear something strange using your, you know, your brain's latent imagination, being able to listen to that and then be able to act on that. Oh, there's an interesting particle event that happened. I hear that in the background. Now I can switch my attention. I'm not always stuck to the screen. Sound is a differentiator in products. The Dyson hairdryer versus the typical hairdryer was a big improvement. And how they did that is they worked for four years to improve uh, removing sound from their product. So what causes noise in products? Component fit. In a nice car, it's going to be quieter than a cheap car because the components fit together better. Um, containerization. There are these $1,000 Blendtec blenders that you see at Jamba Juices. And the reason why those were built was because the workers and the people who were buying the Jamba Juice were so annoyed by the blender sound that they started containerizing the sound. They put the motor in a container, and then they put a plastic container around that, and then they put some, um, they reduced all the empty spaces in the container, and then they put some vibration absorption underneath it. And this $1,000 Blendtec blender actually became this very successful product because it was quieter than a normal conversation. It allows us to live alongside our products a lot better. We can use these principles for all of the things we hate in our lives, from noisy hotel rooms to leaf blowers and semi-truck engines and apartment floors and HVAC systems. These are all compromising our ability to relax, think better, and be more interested in our environments.